Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy, fantasy novels, and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today we're going to be talking about the spell Control Flames. All right. What does this one do, Sam? This is a cantrip, if I'm not mistaken, right? It is. I like to call these kind of spells cosmetic cantrips. They're mainly here for the flavor and fun. Um, so Control Flames is an action... Uh, instantaneous duration, transmutation school, all that fun stuff. Um, the gist of it is you choose a non-magical flame and you affect it in some way. The spell in no way, shape, or form produces a flame, mm. which is kind of stupid. But beyond that, it you can like mess around and move flames and flickering lights and stuff like that. The idea is you can you can grow a flame, which can like quickly spread and burn down a building. Um, you can quickly you can quickly like extinguish a flame. So like maybe you're in the woods and you hear a noise and you're like snuff a campfire. Um, you can double bright light and dim light and then change the color of it, which is nifty and it lasts for an hour. Um, or you can make simple shapes. I think that's the most fun one to me. That's the one where like, if I'm using some of my character, it's probably because I want to have the very animated and I'll have very specific descriptors that I'll be using, uh, to like mimic these. Like if I'm playing a devil tiefling S character, I might have like little devil flames over my shoulders and stuff like that while I'm casting hellish rebuke or whatever. Right. Like I really like to lean into the fantasy of characters like that and the spells sure, yeah, kind of yeah. do it. Um, this is also you can have a bunch of these effects going at once up to three um so you can have like you can have the flames expanded three different times in different directions you could conceivably like have three different super torches about the place which is nifty uh ultimately i'm pretty confident this is the worst out of all the cosmetic cantrips but it's still a cosmetic cantrip it's still something you just take whenever you're like ah oh, yeah i like i want to be the fire wizard person and i don't mind sinking a cantrip for this if you're a sorcerer you probably care about sinking a cantrip for this so that's like one of the harder asks but like if you go to the mid tier and you're like i got a spare cantrip all this seems like crap or you took the ones i want take a cosmetic cantrip take control flames i don't know there's just, uh, it just seems like there's so many fire spells like cantrips included that, and and like you said, this doesn't even make a flame. You, you don't produce a flame. Um, yeah. And there's other ones that do. Uh, there's uh, there's just not a lot that this spell does that other spells, other cantrips don't do. Like press the digitation, I feel like does maybe maybe not half of these. But maybe I don't know. It press, so I will say they did a pretty good job making all the cosmetic cantrips do specifically independent things. So like press the digitation does like it changes the way food tastes. It change, makes some odd smells and aromas. Druidcraft is like you make little berries grow and stuff. Control Flames very distinctly says if it is fire related, you can kind of mess with it. You can change its color. You can change its uh, what it shapes it's making. You can double and make it brighter. You can make it grow, stuff like that. It very much is doing the controlling fire bit. I actually think like, it may also be adept or apt to compare this to light because I, the most light cantrips I also think are pretty, um, like really bad. You don't really ever want them because a torch will almost always do what it's doing. Mm. And that's not a particularly tall order for any character to have a torch. So having a spell that is, you already have torches, this then becomes kind of like the best light spell if you were going to use torches anyway, if you were going to already have the, well, it doesn't cost me anything to really carry torches, it might as well. Having 30 foot bright light, 30 foot dim light is pretty good. And having that on the control flames makes it very viable. You have, th if you have three torches out in your party, you have three sources of 30 foot bright light, 30 foot dim light. That will illuminate huge amounts of space. So if we're talking about like a good light spell, control flame has that effect. Most tables do not need a good light spell. Most tables are perfectly fine with regular torches. Most tables are per perfectly mm. fine with a single dancing lights, a single light spell. You don't need something like control flames. If you are doing the super dungeon crawly and big open dark caverns and are delving into the underdark, it is a meaningful upside of the spell that I'd be remiss not to mention. Yeah, ah, if you want to keep talking, go ahead. I don't have a whole lot to say about this one. This, there it, just, isn't... it fails to excite me. Yeah, I, I again, I think I'll land on, this is a spell that there will be like two or three characters. There'll be a, a specific kind of player that doesn't really care all that much about having robust toolkits of things. Mm. They just really want to play a fantasy. They just yeah, really yeah, want yeah. to be the... Like the, the arsonist character trope is pretty overdone in my personal opinion. I think there are a lot of pyromancers out there that are just like, fire is fun. Let's burn down the house, which, you know, I'm tired of personally. Um, at the same time, like if you're just dipping your toes into D&D, &D, it's a pretty easy avenue. Cause like you said, there's a two and a half billion fire spells. So 
you can pretty easily build that character. This is a pretty good on-ramp to say like, oh, you want to do the fire thing. This is doing the fire thing in a way that isn't always burning down the house and as a way to be like, no, nah, I can control flames and I can kind of make a more engaging, interesting character. Maybe I'm not just the haha fire fun go burn. Maybe you're doing like a cool street performer. Maybe you're doing a circus freak. Maybe you're doing some kind of wild, wacky, off the brand blacksmith that just really like is about the forge and it's about flames. There's a pretty robust suite of things that can work with it. It is a druid sorcerer wizard spell, so it is limited to those three classes. I think this would, I, I'm a little bit bamboozled this isn't a bard spell because this feels very performative to me. I'm a little mm -hmm. bamboozled, but like they just didn't give the cosmetic answers to more character classes because they're like any specific class doesn't really care about this. Like this isn't particularly good on wizard or it's not particularly bad on druid. It's just yeah. control flames. It's just pretty universally a tool that is here for flavor. Um, if you're the kind of DM that's like, you have a player that's playing the, uh, I don't know, a fiend warlock and they're like, man, I really want the little devils on my shoulders. Just give them control flames. <laughs> it, it really, it's, it's that kind of cosmetic effect that it's going to be almost entirely harmless because there's not really a lot you do with it outside of that. Yeah. They, for that sort of thing, I like uh, continual flame. Yeah. Higher uh, level. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm looking forward to talking about that one in the future. Mm -hmm. okay well, you got anything else um i mean conceivably this is a way to burn a house down faster but like realistically your dm doesn't care all that much about that conceivably this is a way to again stuff like a, a campfire quickly i'm pretty sure just running it over with your foot and dirt is going to be as effective none of the effects are particularly powerful this is I, the reason i'm going to give all the cosmetics of this score is because i don't think any of them are particularly good but they're always fun there'll be characters to find them this is a two this is harmless to take. Yes, it takes a cantrip, but it does just enough utility, even if it's not a lot of utility that attached to the flavor stuff, it's perfectly serviceable. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a two as well. I, th I thought you were going to go a bit higher, but... Uh... Nah, no, this spells quite bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that was Control Flames. Thank you, Sam, and thank you, everyone, for joining us. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, informative, or entertaining, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below. You needn't smash it, a gentle tap will suffice. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you check out the links in the description, or you'll find my Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels, Sam's full review of the spell, and other fun things.